Parcet of Hitler arrested following seizure of in a far west and Bishnupur district. Cookies or Mark Women Party decides to boycott upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Heroin vote rupees 43.4 lakh sees in Mizoram one arrested. Center extends armed forces act in eight districts for another six months. Two-year-old prodigy Rupri Das enters India Book of Records for flawless state recognition. And curfew relax in Imphal East Western Thawal District till 10 p.m. For Kakching District till 8 p.m. In Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Good afternoon, you are watching 3PM LED English News. I am your host, Mutamala Niton, giving you the news in details. Manipur police arrested four persons on March 27 following seizure of huge cash of arms, ammunition and explosives in Bishnupur district. The four arrested persons have been identified as Salam Rameshwar Singh, Tongram Gyanjit Singh, Pukrem Ingocha Singh and Thokchom Temba. Alongside the arrest, authorities seized a significant cache of items including three SLR rifles along with four empty magazines. Additionally, they confiscated 20 live rounds, seven mobile phones, one Baofeng walkie talkie set and two cars along with bags and various other items. The authorities have initiated a formal case to delve deeper into the matter marking the commencement of further investigation by the Manipur police into the circumstances surrounding the arrest and the seized items. On the other hand, the Manipur police arrested four members of prescribed outfit KCP Noyon from Imphal West District yesterday. They were identified as Wahing Bam Matoi Singh, 32, Shoren Sangbam Bungcha Singh, Elias Winner, 47 years, Tongam Joinanda Singh, Elias Boja, 49 years, and AK Sanjo Elias Heroji, 34 years. Further, the police team recovered one 9mm pistol loaded with 10 live rounds in the magazine, two hand grenades, three 7.62mm live ammunition, one empty insas rifle magazine, one car, and three mobile phones from their possession. They were involved in extortion of money from general public. A case has been registered for investigation as source from Manipur Police Control Room. In an unfortunate incident, un unidentified miscreants blasted four soaps at Dugapur Lamtai Kuno under Boro Vekara Shab Division in Jiribam District. The incident took place around 2 a.m. today. The soaps blasted by miscreants are of selling computers, hardware, and grocery items. The owner of the four soaps is Hobam Budi, 37, son of H. Komei of Lam Tai Kuno. As soon as the news received, a team of Borovekara police rushed to the spot and started an investigation. No one was arrested in connection with the blast. Talking to media persons, the soap owner Budi has said that till today no demand from any organizations who blasted his soap is not known. However, in the past, unidentified persons attacked his soap by gunshot. On the other hand, speaking to media persons, Vaish and Joy, president of Lamtai Kuno Youth Club, condemned the act in the strongest terms. He further said in the past, some mysterious attacked the soap by gunshot. If any salesman or anybody was here, they might be killed. 
It drew the attention of the chief minister who is taking in charge of the home department to look into the matter and book the culprit according to the law of the land at the earliest. ngang <laughs> ชีบะกีกะโนดะไลรบะโพเซสมัยนะชีบโพเซกะนี่อะคุยซูสมัยนะเอ่อทอกเจทอทอกะคุยกะนี่สมัยนะค้างเลยกินี่ไลรบะโ
of the financial year 2023-24 according to a press release issued by the Deputy Secretary, GAD, Government of Manipur. More on the news. The Wankem Youth Club under the initiative of Wankem Veterinary Office has organized a one-day anti-rabies vaccination program today at the premises of the club. It is the second time the organization such mass vaccination program at the area. Many dogs and cats of Wankem and vicinity were vaccinated anti-rabies vaccine in the program. Puyam Gojen, Joint Director, District Veterinary Office, Tobal, Puyam Kumar, staff of Wankem Veterinary Office and members of the Wankem Youth Club assisted the program. Following the public demand, a one-day mass anti-rabies vaccination program was conducted today at Lamboy Kongnang Makung in Fal Gwesh. The program was organized by the United Friends Library Club Lamboy Kongnang Kong in association with Department of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry, Government of Manipur. More than 350 numbers of dogs and cats have been vaccinated anti-rabies in the program. Mass anti rabies vaccination programs were conducted at different places of Imphal East District today. The vaccination program were organized by the local clubs under the initiative of All Manipur United Clubs Organization, Amuku, and District Veterinary Office, Imphal East Porompat. The Imphal East District United Clubs Organization conducted vaccination program at Lamlai, Ibudo, Preromba, Shanglin. About 200 numbers of dogs and cats were vaccinated anti rabies vaccine. The South Eastern Development Center, Kongba, conducted such vaccination program at Kongba. About 94 dogs and cats were vaccinated anti rabies vaccine. On the other hand, the Descent Youth Club, Kanarok, conducted mass vaccination program at Kanarok. More than 80 number of dogs and cats were vaccinated anti rabies vaccine in the program. A one-day farmers awareness program on agromat project organized by the ICR Research Complex for North East Hill Region, Manipur Center, under the aegis of Gramin Krishi Mausham Sheba, Government of India, was held today at the premises of the center Lamfelpat. The theme of the program was the role of weather in agricultural productivity. Dr. T. Brajakumar Singh, Director, Directorate of Environment and Climate Change Government of Manipur, Dr. I. Mega Chandra Singh, Principal Scientist, ICAR Manipur Center, and Professor L. Nava Chandra Singh, Department of Agronomy, Kao Imphal Grace Delkason, as Chief Guest, President, and Guest of Honor, respectively. Speaking on occasion, Dr. T. Brajakumar Singh said that the weather takes a crucial role in the agricultural activities across the world. The products of agriculture is also dependent on the weather condition. We should acknowledge the relation between the seed and the necessary weather condition. Our life depends on the environment. Similarly, plants also depend upon each environment and weather. Climate change can affect the productivity of agriculture, he added. I'm not of my life, because there are disturbances in my life, so I'm not going to be able to do it. But to thousands of people, Angang Singh Hai Tare, Ang Isa Abu Mokar Hai Mokar Hai Tare, Mokar Hai Tare, Mokar Hai Tare, Hai Tare, Mokar 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 Hai Tare, ไอ้คุยกี่สุธาไหนก็ได้ซูไหนก็ได้ซาเนาะเอาไปอนาคตให้ได้บ่ค่อยสิเฮ็ดโปกุนมีตรีมากี่สารเวจะเข้าไปค
Now let's take a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Diabetes kaloyin na hindi ba sing tama gimanung da control to bangamle? Urea, creatinine, and wangbasu tama gimanung da hanta bangamle. Kung hamanung ay tibasu numit mga nagimanung da fahan bangamle. Pile cybadi nung sang nabasu chama da chama fahan bangamle. Cholesterol wangba numit kunida normal oy bangamle. BP wangbasu tama gimanung da normal oy bangamle. Fatty liver oy basu tama gimanung da fagat han bangamle. Pum na mag natural oy bahida makal na lain jabani. Hagjang da soka da ba side effect amatalayte. Makata na hidak chaba gimatou su tararoy. He na kupaparol gidamag na si mag Langston Birao Diabetes Hospital Soibam Lekai Ayang Pali Road opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital Porompat Infall East near Punjab National Bank. Manipur Gi Ahan Ba Dedicated Cancer Hospital AOI Babina Specialty Hospital Da Medical Oncology Surgical Oncology Advanced Operation Theater Galoina Na Cancer Patient Sing Da Affordable Cost Da Mapung Faraba Care Pizari Side Effect Hanta Ba Manipur Gi Ahan Ba Linic Halcyon Radiation Machine Gi Kudong Cha Ba Pangbi Gani Cancer Kangdok Na Ba Amasung Stays Lep Pada Sizen Na Ba Pet CT Scan Machine So Hospital Asi Da Lady Tumor Board Pamdu Na Patient Sing Gi Laying Patap Da Ahin Ba Kudong Cha Ba Loina Na Health Card Ki Kudong Cha Ba So Pizari Mayang Gi Damag AOI Welcome you all to Yunapa School Chanum, Imphal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Pre OPD consultation camp Lakniba March ki tarik tara nipan degi kuntra matoi pawa Caesar Hospitals Langol amasung Caesar Arban OPD ke sampata pangtuk jeregani investigation the 15 percent procedures medicine immunization the 10 percent concession su pangbi gani akupamaro Caesar Hospitals Langol amasung Caesar Arban OPD ke sampata degi kangbi bayagani. Welcome back from the break. You're watching Ala TV English News. The Mera Pibis of Tamnapokpi Imphal East launched the denouncing the withdrawal of five personnel of seven Amma who deployed at the area to defend the attack of cocaine militants. The women folk of the area highly opposed the government's security arrangement. Many Mera Pibis of the area came out of their residence and locked their vehicles that the security personnel were to be transported. One Mera Pibis leader told that Tamnapokpi, Yengangpokpi, Shanti Khongbal, Shana Shabi, Gualtabi, Shabungko Kuno, and their infall each district have been attacked frequently by cookie militants in the last 10 months. Many villages were displaced due to the prevailing conflict. The local MLA K. H. Bonta Singh has sent 20 personnel of 7 MR recently to safeguard the villages. Kogi megi tang ahum dagi irang je hawa kare fajik tham apan taras kare. Masih ki marak sida ikhoi na prajajing na ikhoi ki lagi bahoi sente post maya amna budi ikhoi ngak pi sen bi. Tawu tawu ikhoi ki hoi moy ki marum tu paje kaya ipang pang de hyper na jing ba ikhoi na ju miway baje pi endapa kaya lagi na budagi ikhoi na mari lagi na budi sing da ikhoi ki lagi budi kun gang jida ikhoi ki jaga jida ikhoi ki istel post si thambiu thambiu na ikhoi na kaya ama ikhoi kongjang changjali kaya ama hyper ruja seru je adu bu ikhoi kui dri. Taragi Matunga, Haibayare, a coach that Tama Ibizi, Hogiba Tang Tara Marida, Tang Tara Manga, Bogimanunda, Tang Tara Mari Bogimanunda, Tambi, you have a Dumu Hoina, Tang Tara Marida Tinbiraponi. Adu Masitan Kuntare, Sid Numitkayani, Sura Geba, Muinci, the Lady Ije, Sigi Yam Drava Matamjida, Muina Sida, Lakot Nava, Silapaja, I quit the Shanga Nungaja Day, I quit Pianja Day, Lakot Piginu. India plans to spend nearly $3.7 billion to fence its 1,610-kilometer porous border with Myanmar within about a decade, set a source with direct knowledge of the matter to prevent smuggling and other illegal activities. 
New Delhi said earlier this year it would finish a border and an adequate all visa free movement policy which could hit Myanmar for border citizens for reasons of national security and to maintain the demographic structure of its northeastern region. A government committee earlier this month approved a course for fencing which needs to be approved by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet, said the source who declined to be named as they were not authorized to talk to the media. The Prime Minister's office and the Ministries of Home, Finance, Foreign Affairs and Information and Broadcasting did not immediately respond to an email seeking comment. Myanmar has so far not commented on India's financing plans. Since a military coup in Myanmar in 2021, thousands of civilians and hundreds of troops have fled from there to India states where people on both sides share ethnic and familial ties. This has worried New Delhi because of risks of communal tensions spreading to India. Some members of the Indian government have also blamed the porous border for abating the tense situation in the rest of northeastern Indian state of Manipur, abutting Myanmar. For nearly a year, Manipur has been engulfed by a civil war-like situation between two ethnic groups, one of which shares lineage with Myanmar's Chin tribe. The committee of senior Indian officials also agreed to build parallel roads along the fence and 1,700 kilometers of feeder roads connecting military bases to the border, the source said. The fence and adjoining road will cost nearly 125 million rupees per kilometer, more than double that of 55 million per kilometer cost for the border fence with Bangladesh built in 2020, the source said. Because of the difficult hilly terrain and the use of technology to prevent intrusion and corrosion. No nomination papers were filed for the Lone Lok Sabha sheet in Nagaland on Wednesday, officials said. Election to the Lone Lok Sabha sheet in Nagaland will be held on April 19. Filing of the nominations had commenced on March 20 and Wednesday was the last date for filing of nominations. Altogether, four candidates, including the ruling National Democratic Progressive Party and DPP and People's Democratic Alliance consensus candidate Jumbe Murray, Congress candidate and Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee and PCC President S. Shungpo Miran Jamir, have submitted their nomination papers. Congress candidate for Nagaland Lok Sabha constituency S. Shupon Miriam Jamir on Tuesday filed his nomination papers. Interacting with media persons after filing the nomination papers, Jamir expressed confidence that the people will vote for the Congress in the Lok Sabha election. Scrutiny of document will be carried out on March 28, while the last date of withdrawal of the candidate is March 30. Heroin worth Rs 43.4 lakh has been seized and one person arrested in Mijaram Sampai district, Asham Rifles said in a statement. Acting on a tip of a joint team of Asham Rifles and Mijaram Excise and Narcotics Department conducted a raid on Jorje village close to India-Myanmar border and seized 62 grams of heroin on Monday. One person was arrested in connection with the seizure, it said, the seized heroin and accused person have been handed over to the excise and narcotics department for further legal proceedings, the statement added. More on the news. A two-year-old prodigy, Rupreet Das, who is a resident of in Fatikroy, Tripura's Unakoti district, Rajnagar village, has each his name into the annals of the Indian Book of Records. He accomplished this feat by flawlessly identifying all 28 Indian states on a map along with their respective capitals. Remarkably, despite his young age and still developing speech abilities, Rupreet demonstrates an uncanny knack for recognizing and pronouncing not only Indian states and capitals but also a handful of countries and their capitals. His father, Babdu Chanda, a pharmacist in the Tripura Health Department, attributed Rupreet's achievement to his mother. Rupali does, also a dedicated health worker. Rupali recalls how she noted Rupreet's extraordinary aptitude for learning and pronunciation from an early age. Introducing him to the names of Indian states and capital when he was just one year old, she was amazed by his ability to memorize and recall them. She then took it a step further, teaching him to locate these states on a map. Now, with ease and fluency, Rupreet can point to any state on the map and name its capital. 
The dedication to learning doesn't stop there. Rupreet's curiosity extends to countries and their capital as well. Encouraged by his astounding progress, Rupali applied to register him in the Indian Book of Records, a process that involved rigorous verification of his abilities. Ultimately, Rupreet's exceptional talent earned him not only recognition but also a certificate and medal from the esteemed Indian Book of Records. This remarkable achievement is a testament to Rupreet's innate abilities and his parents' unwavering support and encouragement. It also serves as an inspiration to young minds everywhere, showcasing the boundless potential that lies within them. More on the news. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Kandu is likely to win uncontested from the Mukto Assembly constituency, joining a growing list of Bharatiya Janata Party candidates securing uncontested victories in the seat. Reports indicate a trend of opposition candidates notably absent in several key districts, including Papumpare, paving the way for a likely swipe by the ruling party. Notably, Aratu Techi from Sangali emerged as another prominent contender sought to secure an uncontested win. With no opposition candidates filling nominations before the deadline, the BJP is poised for a clean swipe in various constituencies, including Mukto and Sangali. Additionally, Arhange Appa from Jiro of Lower Subanshiri district faces no position, further solidifying the BJP's position. The latest update reveals a total of five candidates winning uncontested, including J.K. Thakur from Tali, Nayato Dukum from Taliha, Ratu Techi from Sangali, and Muchu Miti from Rowing Assembly constituencies. Former Chief Minister Nabam Tuki, having served 30 years as MLA from Sangali, opted to contest parliamentary election this time, filing his nomination from Aulu. However, the uncontested win for Pema Gandhu in Arunachal Pradesh still awaits an official confirmation. The center has announced eight districts and 21 police stations across five additional districts of Nagaland as disturbed for a further period of six months until September 30, in accordance with the Armed Forces Act. Following an in-depth view of the state of law and order in Nagaland, the centre made a decision to maintain the status quo and maintain a first part in the following districts. Kohima District, Manko Lemba, Mokokchung Wan, Longto, Tuli, Longchem and Anakishi, Longland District, Woko District, Katashi, Pungboto, Shataka, Shurohuto, Jenhe Boto, and Anguhunato police stations and the area under the jurisdiction of Kujama, Kohima Note, Kohima Shao, Jubja, and Kejocha police stations in Kohima district and the areas under the jurisdiction of Kujama, Kohima Note, Kohima Shao, and Kohima district. It was necessary to extend the disturbed area attack under Section 3 of FESPA for the aforementioned districts and police stations because the previous notification was only valid until March 31, 2024. Last year, beginning on October 1, the Ministry of Home Affairs extended the Armed Forces Act for an additional six months in certain areas of Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. The Act empowers the Armed Forces and Central Armed Police Forces deployed in disturbed areas to kill anyone who violates the law, arrest and search any premises without a warrant and seal individual from prosecution and legal action without approval of the central government. More on the news. In anticipation of the upcoming elections, the central government has announced a wage rate hike ranging from 3 to 10 percent for MGN REGA Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act workers for the fiscal year 2024-25. This increment closely mirrors the rise declared for the ongoing financial year. The revised waste rates are set to become effective from April 1, 2024 according to the notification released today. Among the states, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand will experience the smallest increase of 3% for the year 2024-25 in comparison with the rates of the preceding fiscal year, while Goa is poised to witness the more substantial hike of 10.6%. 
The Rural Development Ministry obtained clearance from the Election Commission to announce the revised wage rate amidst implementation of the Model Code of Conduct for the general elections. The most recent revision in MGN REGA wages was enacted on March 24, 2023, showcasing varied increase across different states. Notably, Rajasthan observed the highest percentage increase in MGN REGA wages with Bihar and Jharkhand following closely behind. Now let's take another short break. Stay here. We'll be right back. To touch the pinnacles of success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest school in Northeast India, UNACO School, Excellence in Education. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Planning to study outside Manipur? Are you confused about your college or university selection? After 12, Manipur Edu Online provide assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuridu.online or you can also call us at 7628-960-947. Diabetes colonial hing liver sink, tamagi manunda, control to bangamle. Urea, cretina and wangosu, tamagi manunda, hantabangamle. Kong hambanungai tebasu, numit manganigi manunda, fahan bangamle. Pile cybadi, nung sang nabasu, chama de chama, fahan bangamle. Cholesterol wangba, numit kunida, normal oibangamle. BP wangbasu, tamagi manunda, normal oibangamle. Fatty liver oibasu, tamagi manunda, fagat hanbangamle. Pumna mug, natural oibahida, makalna. Lying Germany. Hakjang the soka the bus side effect a matalite. Makata and Hidak Java Gimatosu Taroi. Hena Kupa Parogi the mug, Nasi Mak Langson Biru, Diabetes Hospital, Soibam Lakai, a young Pali road opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital, Porompat, in Fall East, near Punjab National Bank. Manipur Gi Ahanba Dedicated Cancer Hospital, AOI Babina Speciality Hospital, the Medical Oncology, Surgical Oncology, Advanced Operation Theater Galoina, the Cancer Patient Sing, the Affordable Cost, the Mapung Faraba Care, Pisari, Side Effect Hantaba, Manipur Gi Ahanba, Linic Halcyon Radiation Machine Gi Kudong Chaba, Pangbikani, Cancer Kangok Naba, Amazon Stays Lay, Pada Sizen Naba, Pet CT Scan Machine, so Hospital Asi, that lady, Tumor Board Pamduna, Patient Sing, the Lying Patapta, Ahinba Kudong Chaba, Loina, the Health Card Ki Kudong Chaba, so Pisari, Mayam Gidamak, AOI. I Babina Speciality Hospital, Sajiwa Kabe Soi, Imphal East. Welcome you all to Yunapa School Chanum, Imphal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number no. one in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Welcome back from the break once again. You are watching LA English News. In commemoration of World Oral Health Day, a one-day free dental medical camp was conducted today at the premises of Old Age Home, Langjinga Choba, in Far West. The medical camp was jointly organized by the Old Age Home, Langjinga Choba, and Dental College Frims. About 25 inmates of the home were checked up oral problems in the camp. Dr. Anand Rajapur, principal in charge of Dental College Frims, spoke about oral hygiene. He said that teeth is so important. A healthy teeth means healthy person. We should keep our teeth neat and clean.
More on the news. Two individuals were reportedly killed by unknown miscreants at Ichamati under the jurisdiction of Sela Phyllis Station in East Khasi Hills District on Wednesday evening. The incident occurred post an anti citizenship amendment act rally conducted by the Khasi Students Union, Keshu, and other NGOs at Ichamati, according to police sources. The victims belonging to non indigenous communities may be targeted by the criminals exploiting the situation. Deputy Commissioner of East Khasi Hills, S.C. Shadu, confirmed the death, stating that further details are pending. The situation remains tense with additional force being dispatched. Superintendent of Police have been ordered to enhance patrolling and organize peace meetings the following day. The deceased identified as L. Ishan Shing and L. Shijit Dutta were discovered at Ichamati and Dalda, respectively, in form District Police. Chief Rituraj Ravi. Postmortem and inquest procedures are yet to be conducted by a team from the local police station and additional teams from Shillong. The Enforcement Directorate ED has shimmered Trinamul Congress leader Mahal Moitra to appear for questioning in connection with an alleged violation of the Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Moitra has been asked to appear before the ED officials in Delhi on March 28. Upon improvement in the law and order situation in the Valley districts, curfew has been relaxed till 10 pm today in Imphal East, Imphal West, and Tobal districts. In Kakting district, a curfew has been relaxed till 8 pm today. However, in Vishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. Traffic is seen as usual on the road. Shops and markets remain open. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LATV News Channel, contact to email address info at LATV.in or 940 and subscribe to LATV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. Now before we conclude, let's look at the headlines once again. Eight arrested following seizure of huge cash of arms and ammunition in Imphal West and Vishnupur district. <music> Cookies of Mar Women Body decides to boycott upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Heroin word rupees 43.4 lakhs is in major on one arrested. <music> Center extends armed forces act in eight districts for another six months. Two-year-old prodigy Rupri Das enters in their book of record for flawless state recognition. <music> Curfew relax in Imphal East West of all districts till 10 p.m. for Kakching District till 8 p.m. In Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Thank you for watching Additive English News. We'll be back with more news update at 6 p.m.